and welcome. My name is Henrik Videgren. I'm a doctor. And today I'm going to talk about new diagnoses. Because most diagnoses are old and well known, but there are also brand new diagnoses. Diagnoses that have only existed for the last 20 years. I will now tell you about 10 fresh diagnoses. First, we have SMS fractures. SMS fractures are also called text messaging fractures. These are fractures caused by texting while transporting yourself. For example, patients who text while they are on a bike and crash into a lamppost and get a facial fracture. Yes, I've had those patients. But it could be worse, people who text while driving and get a skull fracture. When it comes to SMS fractures, the researchers for the first time totally agree. They recommend prophylactic treatment. The treatment that is spelled, do not be stupid. There is also Wi-Fi Bipolar. Wi-Fi Bipolar is a network-induced psychiatric diagnosis. The symptoms are mood swings, which are controlled by how good the Wi-Fi reception is. It's more common among young people, and the treatment of choice is cognitive behavioral therapy, which aims to cope with a lack of vital information flow from for example, Instagram and TikTok. Alternatively, get an unlimited mobile phone subscription. And the next diagnosis is Tinder Chlamydia. Tinder Chlamydia is chlamydia caused by love, which is caused by Tinder contact. The outbreaks began after Tinder's launch in 2012. The treatment is oral antibiotics, preferably tetracycline, but if the Tinder chlamydia returns, you have to learn to swipe left or throw away your cell phone. We also have Google hypochondria. Google hypochondria is also called cyberchondria or compuchondria. It started after Google's launch in 1998 and is a well-known condition that people have written songs about. Google hypochondria appears as waves of anxiety and panic attacks as you enter your symptoms in the search field and receive the worst possible answers. It's more common at night and in places with good internet connection. Treatment? Turn off your computer and go and see a doctor instead. And yes, this is advertising. The next diagnosis is acute epidemiologia. Acute epidemiologia is our newest disease. It's also known as idiot, induced disease of epidemiologic overdose trauma. These patients suffer from acute acquired knowledge of epidemiology, and the epidemic began a few weeks after the COVID-19 pandemic started. It's more common among middle-aged men with higher education. Treatment. Avoid exponential graphs and stick to what you're good at. The next diagnosis is measles. Measles is a reborn diagnosis. It was almost eradicated in the 20th century, but after an outbreak of vaccination phobia, also known as Wakefield's disease, it has returned. It's contagious and occurs in clusters, more common among homeopaths, chiropractors and in Waldorf schools. The treatment is simple. Vaccinate the children against measles or give the children other parents. We also have Facebook anxiety. Facebook anxiety presents as stress and anxiety caused by fewer likes than expected by a Facebook post. It raises questions such as, was the post bad? Am I bad? Does nobody like me? Why are my friend's life much more exciting and fun than mine? Treatment. Avoid Facebook 
and meet your friends in real life. The next diagnosis is smartphone thumb. Smartphone thumb is also known as Android arthritis or iPhone inflammation. The disease started after iPhone's launch in 2007 and the symptom is pain in the metacarpophalangeal joint of the thumb caused by excessive scrolling and texting. Treatment, put the phone away and talk to the person next to you. Now we have only two diagnoses left and the first one of those is cell phone charger addict. Cell phone charger addict is also called power outlet junkie. These patients experience anxiety when the cell phone battery charge is less than 50%. Below 25%, these patients start to sweat and glance down to find a power outlet, and below 10%, they may start hyperventilating and have seizures. But the treatment is easy, always carry around a diesel generator. And our last diagnosis is overdiagnosis syndrome. Overdiagnosis syndrome is excessive use of diagnosis. It's common both in patients and doctors. All combinations of symptoms can be a new and special diagnosis, preferably presented as an acronym. I can use myself as an example. I often feel that I have a little pain in different parts of my body. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had pain in my back. Uh, last Sunday, I had a headache. And yesterday, I had a stomach ache. Thus, I suffer from WIMP, weak, intermittent, migrating pain. But the treatment for overdiagnosis syndrome is simple and cheap. Focus on health. So there you have 10 brand new diagnoses. I will be back in 5 years and give you 10 more. Until then, subscribe if you like and stay healthy. Yeah.